Can I make an impromptu wind link connection on the side of the road? Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So I've literally stopped on the side of the road here today. Uh, I'm going to just kind of take a quick pan around to let you see. I am basically in what is uh, called the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so what I wanted to do is, and I've kind of been doing this test uh, quite a bit lately, I've got a minimal amount of gear here. Just my EDC bag and then a small uh, collapsible mast. This is a new mast that I just got from uh, Soda Beams, they're Carbon 6, super compact, fits in a backpack, and I apologize with the uh, car noises, uh, people may travel down this road, uh, but I've got this brand new Carbon, uh, carbon 6 mast with me, and we're going to take what's in the EDC kit and see if we can make a quick wind link connection. I'm testing a couple of things. I've been testing uh, whether wind link would work in various locations around uh, the Middle Tennessee area, and then I'm testing a new script that I've written for the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to try to keep this video, uh, I'm going to try to keep from making very many edits to it because I kind of want you guys to see what it takes in real time to get this set up. So I'm going to back you guys up here a little bit on top of the Jeep. I've got very minimal camera equipment with me today. So we'll just try to see if we can make all of this happen. Uh, with the gear we've got. Yeah, I think you guys will be able to see okay. So I'm going to grab uh, my digi rig. Uh, I'm going to grab a FT70 uh, radio that I keep in here. And I keep a little piece of paper tucked away between the battery uh, and, and the connectors inside the radio. These radios are notorious for going dead uh, if you just leave the battery sitting there. So I keep that little piece of paper in there. Uh, to try to uh, break the contact for the batteries and uh, preserve that battery. So I do have the Raspberry Pi and a little bitty uh, portable battery with me. I think that's about 5,000 milliamps. The new script I've written, uh, and I'm still trying to work the bugs out of it, hence uh, this test here today, but this new script will uh, auto start a modem for you, a, a Winlink modem, depending on whether you've got a sound card connected before you boot or after you boot the Raspberry Pi. If you plug a sound card up before you boot it, you're going to get a packet modem. If you plug the sound card up after you boot the Raspberry Pi, then it's going to start the Vara FM modem. So I'm going to set that there. Uh, I do want to try Vara FM, so I'm going to set that there and just let it uh, go ahead and boot up. And it'll wait for us to connect that sound card before it starts the uh, Vara FM modem. So I'm going to go ahead and extend this out. I think I can go all the way out with this thing and use my roll-up J-pole and I'll give you guys a closer look at what I'm doing out here in a minute. But I'm just going to extend this out all the way and then uh, connect up that roll-up J-pole to the very end of it. So I think this new mast is about 19 feet if I remember correctly. Uh, in length, so it's pretty much exactly the length of coax that's on this roll-up J-pole. So we'll go ahead and string the J-pole out here, and then I keep a little um, night eyes clip. Well, I said I did. I've actually left my clip somewhere, and it's not in its proper spot. So as a backup, I do believe I have... Aha! Always keep backup uh, zip ties in your bag. If you forget to put your Night Eyes carabiner back on here, I bet I left it laying outside the other day when I was doing this same test at home. But I just need a way to attach this to the very top of this mask. So I'm going to use the zip tie since that's what I have with me today. And we'll go ahead and get this thing elevated up. I do have a mast holder right on the front of my Jeep that is always there. Uh, so it's perfect for uh, these quick deployments. The uh, mast holder, I'll show you guys in just a second, or I'll overlay some B-roll. The mast holder, though, is um, 
held in place by my winch so and it basically rides there all the time i got that from uh, i got that actually custom made from tn07.com uh, so if you guys are interested in something like that i'm sure they'd be happy to make another one of those up for you so let's go ahead and get the radio set uh, There we go. Took me a second to get the uh, squelch disabled on there. But that should have everything with the radio and the Raspberry Pi connected. Looks like I got everything started here. So I'm going to open up my cell phone and connect to the hotspot from the Raspberry Pi. Uh, once I connect to it, then I'm just going to use my phone to go straight into the Winlink server on the Raspberry Pi. Whoa, things are kind of falling around on me here. It is super windy out here today. And for some reason, I'm not seeing my hotspot. I might end up having to reboot the Pi to uh, get everything up and running. Because it doesn't look like something booted up exactly right. Guys, I apologize if there's a ton of wind noise out here. I'm going to end up rebooting this Raspberry Pi. I do see the lights coming on, so that should be booting up. We'll uh, wait and verify that we get a Wi-Fi hotspot right here uh, that we can connect to from the phone. There we go. It finally uh, just had to reboot the Pi. For whatever reason, it didn't start the hotspot, I don't think, the first time around. So now I'll go ahead and plug up the uh, sound card again, and it should start the modem for us. So... I'm actually going to start recording my uh, phone screen here and we'll just navigate to 10.10.10.10 colon 8080. Uh, let's make sure I get the right address in there and hit go. All right, now there's the, um, there's the PAP mailbox so you can see I am loaded up into it. Now I'm actually going to go take a look at the outbox and you can see that I've got an email here that says uh, that the Vara FM modem has started. So I'm just going to click into that. You can see that right there. And notice it's addressed, to, uh, it's addressed to test. So if this message accidentally got sent out, it would just return to you. Anytime in WinLink you address a message to uh, test, it will simply get returned to you on the next connection. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. And then let's see if we can connect to this gateway right here. Now, I think that's a, yeah, that's AX25. I don't want that. I want to actually use Vara for this connection. Let's go ahead and see if this connection will go through successfully. I'm going to kind of turn the radio around so I can see it is transmitting. Uh, and it looks like I have a connection. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, to be able to just stop on the side of the road and with this little bitty kit, uh, we're able to make this connection happen. So we'll give it a couple more seconds here and yep, it's finished up. Guys, that's it. That's how easy it is to stop on the side of the road and make a Winlink connection. So it took me uh, maybe 10 minutes or so from start to finish to get everything up and that's uh, messing with the cameras and you know making sure that all of that was ready as well so hopefully the audio comes out on this video and hopefully you learned something about this if you're interested in this little script uh it is still kind of uh in beta testing but i did put it over on github i can leave you a link to that if uh, that's something you want to play with it's probably not ready for prime time but uh if you play with it a little bit you can probably get it working for your setup as well all right we'll see you guys on the next one until then seven three